Well, hi folks, and welcome to Alcan ADV. Today I figured I'd give you a little demonstration of the wood stove I just put in the cabin. Uh, I'm really loving this thing so far. It's, uh, it's just a joy to burn, and, and it, it burns really, really well. <laughs> You can see um, eventually it'll get all smoky in there and then once it really has nowhere to go it'll all start drafting up the chimney and you can you can see it you can tell when it starts also you can tell by the air wash on the glass when it starts when the draft is going right you should be able to have the door open and not have smoke coming out because it's all going up the chimney now I'm we're going to put some kindling on here. Once you've got that down, then you can start putting a couple of bigger pieces on here. I don't have a lot of bigger pieces right now. But I've got some I'm burning lumber scraps by the So we're starting to get a bed of coals down there underneath everything, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna burn this down a little ways, and then I add my you know, regular firewood, which in this case is uh, my stair cutouts from the uh, main stairs. So now that's burned down to mostly coal, so I can spread it out a little bit. Don't wanna spread it out too far, because I'll kill it. Now I'm going to put my wood in. In this case, these triangular pieces, uh, I'm going to put them in kind of, well, the only way they really fit, kind of like that. And uh, I want room underneath them, if I can, for the fire to still burn down there. And I want room in between them for the fire to come up. Here, it'll come up there. Hopefully, eventually, it'll come up back in there. Yeah. So now I put a third level in there. Just put another layer on top of the others, and it'll burn slower this way because there's more wood. But once it gets going, it's gonna be pretty hot. Now it's been a while, so I've built it up and it's burned down and I've built it up again, but that's not what we're talking about anymore. Uh, I'm going to go through this little AR build that I've done. Uh, a little while ago, I put up on the channel that I had this little AR and I was going to build it out, um, kind of cheapskate-ish, and, and see what I could do with it. Well, it's done, or at least it's done enough uh, as far as I'm concerned, and uh, so I'm going to kind of walk you guys through it. Uh, first off, this is an Anderson uh, AM15. I got this as an optics ready model, uh, which means it's basically as basic as they come. It's the base AR uh, with uh, you know military handguard and that's it. There's no uh, sights that doesn't even have the A2 front sight on it. Anyway, first thing I did was I had a little red dot on it and it worked really pretty well. Um, but when I started building it out, I took that off, and the first thing I put on was this uh, rail. Now this is an AIM Sports, I 
I think it's the 13 and a half inch rail uh, from Sportsman's Guide. Um, it's got the M lock all around. It's it's octagonal shaped, and then it's got you know the Picatinny on top. And I got this since I'm new to this whole AR thing. I didn't have any uh, armorer's tools or anything, so I got uh, an armorer's kit. Basically, it came with the rail. It came with a uh, let's see, a low profile um, gas block. Came with a couple of other things. Anyway, a barrel nut, a barrel wrench, and and, and uh, you know the vice block to hold the upper. Anyway, so I put that on. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not the lightest thing in the world, but uh, it's sure not too heavy, and uh, seems to hold up well so far. Now I don't have a whole lot of rounds through this thing. I might have a hundred rounds through this thing since I put it together. So this is not a long-term review, but. For the price, uh, I got the whole armorer's kit on sale for, uh, I think it was about $90. So for the price, you can't beat it. I put on uh, an Anderson Arms uh, extended charging handle. Now this one only has the charging handle on one side, it doesn't have it on the other side. But since I'm a lefty, that means that being here, I can rack it with my left hand and, and that works okay. And uh, I got to say, that has made all the difference in the world, being able to just rack the action instead of do the little, you know. Anyway, then I got a, uh, a light. I just put in a big old order to Amazon. So I got this light. It's uh, Feiyachi. That's, that's the brand. It's some cheap Amazon light, but it uh, says it's 1,200 lumens. It's not. It's probably more like 500, but it's good and bright. It's got a good beam pattern. It's got the... Uh, wire and I've got the pressure pad over here and the pressure pad has two um, buttons one is an on you know press on release off and the other is press on and press off so you know whatever your preference is and you can use them interchangeably I put a bipod mount on here that's it's just basically a sling swivel stud that mounts on to the M lock but I also found that it works as kind of a makeshift forward grip you can kind of grip it with your hand and it feels pretty good so I'm just gonna leave it there uh, as a forward grip and uh, and then when I want to shoot long distance I can just pop the bipod on there I left the uh, stock stock uh, I never really had a problem with that and so I just left it and again I was trying to go as cheap as I possibly could so uh, there was no problem there this is a CB life two and a half to ten by forty um, that I got on Amazon again it was thirty five dollars on Amazon and for thirty five dollars I just couldn't resist trying it out on a cheapskate bill so um, it says it's two and a half to ten I really found that to be about two and a half to maybe six uh, it, it's definitely not ten I don't know exactly what it is uh, it's got a mill dot reticle it's second focal plane, so the reticle doesn't uh, exactly zoom in. But uh, it's got two illuminations, red and green, and like five settings per. And it's also got a built-in uh, laser sight. So let's see if you can see that right there. <laughs> anyway, um, I wasn't too crazy about that, but whatever, there it is. And uh, overall, it's an okay uh, setup. Clarity is okay. Um, eye relief is not terrible. It's got a pretty uh, close margin that you have to be in to get the right eye relief picture. Um, it's got the top turret, the two turrets are different. So the top turret has um, marks here. You uh, open the cap up to adjust, you know, sight it in. But then on the, on the turret itself, you can turn the whole turret and it has um, range markings. So if you want to go out to about it has it out to 500 yards. It's supposedly set up for the 5.56 round, so um, you've got range marks out at, at 100 yard intervals out to 500 yards. Anyway, and then the uh, windage turret is a little bit simpler, I guess. It's just normal windage, and, and you can set it a zero on it and then go from there. Uh, that's about all I've got to say about the scope. This is probably the one piece of gear on the rifle that I'm going to be replacing uh, eventually. I had to had to try it, like I said, $35, but um, it's not the be-all and end-all of scopes for sure, and uh, 
I'm gonna get something a little better on this. Anyway, um, let's see. Other than that, I've got a set of, uh, if I thought long enough, I could probably think of the name of it, cheap uh, Walmart uh, aluminum battle sights in case of a scope malfunction. And uh, they pop up, they've got a button, they snap up. This one doesn't snap up because the scope's in the way, but uh, anyway, that's what they are. Uh, they're pretty solid. They have a little wobble up here uh, when they're raised in the raised position, but it's spring-loaded, and so it goes forward, uh, and it's pretty good. I haven't even sighted those in yet, so quality is okay, and I have no idea how they're going to run in the long term. I put a sling on here. This is a $10 sling off Amazon. It's got the quick um, adjustment feature to where you can have it on and uh, adjust it out to be longer and then you can adjust it adjust it right back in again eventually like that anyway it works okay two point sling I don't like the single points and uh, I sure don't like all those triple point slings anyway that's what that is uh, I have a QD point up here and then the slings just looped around in the stock back here the QD points on the sling Everybody said on Amazon they were just notoriously horrible, and I also needed a QD mount here, so I just bought new QD points and put it on, and I had no trouble with it. That's uh, the entire build as far as the Cheapskate build goes, and I have about $650 into that, all told, including the rifle. The rifle cost me $400. I got it at Cabela's on a sale, so uh, everything else was about $250. Um, after that, I decided I want a little bit nicer grip, so I put one of these uh, Magpul MOE uh, grips in with the little button that you can pull out the, there's a core in here, or no there's not actually, uh, but you can stick stuff up in there, there's a door on it, and I also put, since I'm a lefty, I put a uh, ambidextrous safety on. This is the, uh, what is it, I think it's a CMMG ambidextrous safety uh, from Sportsman's Guide. You can get them other places too. Brown Elves, I know. Anyway, that is the entire setup. This rifle, um, it's a fairly solid rifle. The action could use a little bit of uh, softening up or at least uh, maybe just a little more oil. But uh, all in all, I've never had any problems with it. It's never jammed on me. And uh, what more do you need out of, out of a rifle, right? So uh, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, hope you like this. If you got ideas about the rifle or ideas about the wood stove, uh, go ahead and let me know. I'd be happy to answer questions and uh, always love to hear your comments. So uh, go ahead and just go down there. I know all of you are just dying to type something. So anyway, you guys ride safe and uh, I know I'm jealous. I see all you guys down south having a time of your lives riding and I can't ride a motorcycle and now I can't even ride a snow machine because we don't have any snow, but anyway, I'll live. See you guys next week and you guys take care. Of